Hey, you. What the hell is this? Advertising, I guess. I could arrest you right now if I wanted to. Before you do that, how about you go have yourself a look at that first billboard over there? So, Mildred Hayes, why did you put up these billboards? My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department is too busy torturing black folks and eating Krispy Kremes to solve actual crime. Dixon, I'm in the middle of my damn Easter dinner. Sorry, kids. I know, Chief, but I think we got kind of a problem. Sunshine beating on the good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like a will it be. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. I saw you on TV the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you look good. I mean, you came across really good. I think that guy wants to get my pants. <laughs> Father Montgomery. I'm sorry about Angela. You ain't trying to make me believe in reincarnation or something, are you? Because you're pretty, but you ain't her. But the town is dead set against these billboards. You know who threw that can? What can? How about you, sweetheart? Uh, no, I, I didn't really. <sighs> Took a poll, did you, Father? The more you keep a case in the public eye, the better your chances are getting it solved. And when I see the sign. What's happening with the billboard lady? He's tough as an old boot, mama. All this anger, man. <laughs> it just begets greater anger. In three, two, one. And as sad as the spectacle of these billboards might be, go, girl. This reporter, for one, hopes this finally puts an end to the strange saga of the three billboards outside. This doesn't put an end to anything. This is just a start. Why don't you put that on your Good Morning Missouri Wake Up broadcast?